Hi, this is Blake Cooper. I'm back on the site again, and I want to welcome you. Uh, you may be interested in knowing why I'm sitting next to this beautiful piano, uh, and I'd like to tell you about it. And again, some more piano history. I've got a very good friend in uh, L.A. that's a set builder, and he builds movie sets and uh, for he's done very a lot of famous movies. And uh, he called me. He was rebuilding Walt Disney's office on Disney Studios, and they had a piano that they had put in the office to make it exactly like Walt's uh, original office. And he wanted to know if I knew what it was, because he knew I'm in the piano business. And so he sends me a text, and I look at it, and this guy named Ken Weber had done a piano for Walt Disney in a customized case, very similar to what I'm sitting next to. Uh, not from the style standpoint, but from the work, you know, the uh, beautiful work that's done to it. And I looked at it, and it was a Kanabi piano. And uh, I told him that not only is it a Kanabi piano, but I'm probably the largest Kanabi dealer in the country. And I thought it was fascinating that Walt Disney uh, had a Kanabi. Not only did he have it, he wrote, well, I wouldn't say he wrote, but his people wrote the music for Mary Poppins on this piano and many other famous movies that was during the 40s, uh, 50s, 60s in that era. Uh, so as a matter of fact, I was so excited I sent that information to uh, you know Kanabi so that they can ask for permission to put it on their website and their brochures. Uh, it was always exciting to talk about Elvis Presley. You know, he had one at Graceland and Albert Einstein. You know, he was a smart guy and he played Kanabi and really loved it. And uh, this piano line has been going on since 1837. It's the second oldest piano line in the U.S. And this is part of the history of the U.S. piano industry. So if you consider the year, turn of the century in the 1920s, 30s, and 40s, you can see how much of a command they had in the marketplace with not only the quality and the tone, but then the endorsements of the people that, you know, people would look up and say, wow, you know, Elvis has one, uh, Einstein, and now Walt Disney. And, uh, you know, people like that could play anything they want. And they chose this piano because of the quality, the workmanship, and then the brand, and uh, then the pride of ownership, which really is an important part of owning a piano. Not to mention the quality in construction. You can see the casework that's done. Walt's piano has a, an interesting leg on it uh, that almost looks like it's an Art Deco thing, because if you look at his office, it was a lot of walnut and knickknacks and things like that. And they have a nice plaque where the, it talks about uh, this Mr. Weber that had done the case design. Uh, for Walt, so it was you know exactly what he what he looked for. But if you want to come into our store, you can play one of these nice pianos. Obviously, this is a an anniversary model, which is somewhat intricate. But they have many models, sizes, different prices, and it's really an honor to represent a piece of uh, U.S. piano history. And uh, thanks for listening, and uh, thanks for coming to the site.